Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. This is Mike. And uh, today I'm going to do the spindle turning for the lower portion of the rocking chair. It's a pretty simple turning, so I'm pretty much going to speed it up throughout the whole process. And what you see me doing here now is just kind of laying out the lines of all the peaks and valleys of this turning. I'm using that leg to mock up the second leg so they can all match. On the particular rocking chair that I'm doing, the four lower legs are identical. Once I've created one, I can copy that three more times and create all my legs for the lower part of the rocking chair itself. Now I use a, a number of tools here. The parting tool, which I'm using right here, along with the spindle gouge to create most of the beads and coves. Now I also use the easy wood laid tool to do the coves as well. If you notice in the video, you'll see my body rocking. Uh, that's particularly useful for the spindle gouge. You almost kind of got to rock your body to make these, uh, uh, particularly the coves for sure, and a lot of spinning of, or twisting of the spindle gouge as well to create the beads. Um, it, it's a good practice piece actually to, if you've never been on a lathe before, it's actually a good practice piece, piece because it has a lot of beads and coves to actually uh, uh, learn from. It's, it's a real good practice piece to try that out on. Here I'm just using the easy wood lathe tool to uh, further define that cove. Back to the spindle gouge. Notice my body rocking. This was done with a uh, roughing gouge. I just got to get this particular part down a little, little thinner than than. Uh, what the blank was. Another bead. After making four of these that day, my fingertips and my wrist was really, really in pain. I actually gave a rest for a couple days before I went on to other spindles. Uh, this piece right here I'm turning right here is going to be a half bead transi transitioning into a cove. You'll see that here in a minute. that cove. First I'm going to mark my depth with the parting tool and the micrometer. And then I'm going to use the easy wood lay tool. Notice my body rocking to create that cove. So a half bead transition into a cove. back to a half bead, and then a full bead, then a half bead, and a cone. I 
that's pretty much all there is to this particular turning. Uh, like I said, I had to make four of them in total, and uh, that's essentially what I did all four times. Now the very first piece, I copied exactly from the rocking chair, and then I used that one to copy the rest. I'll see you next time.